Do you have a question of what is the meaning of this dotted line in Power BI in data model? Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what we are going to learn in this video. In this video, you are going to learn how to make relationship active or inactive in Power BI using use relationship function. Uh, let me explain you with the real life scenario. I have a sales data. Let me show you my data. Uh, now this is a data of order which contain the order information of different product. Who ordered that? What is the ship mode, ship date and order date of that particular order. Now I have one another table which call we can say this is a date table which contain the date information about the data. Now what I do here if we closely look at to the data model we establish a relationship between the order date and order. Now here in order table there are two columns which contain the uh, date information. The first column we can say that is, uh, let me just find out, here this is a ship date column. Now there is a ship date which can be subset of a date uh, and the second uh, uh, that is order date. Order date is also relatable with the date table. Now you may have a question how can we establish a relationship between two table with the different column. So let me remove this first and show you. So uh, let's say uh, if you want to establish a relationship between this date table and the order. So first we will establish a relationship between order date and date column. So generally what we do, we just drag and drop it here. So automatically a one to many relationship is established. Now once again, the a ship date is also a subset of date. So once again, I am establishing a relationship. Okay. Now see, actually two columns from the order table are connected with the one column in the date table. So whenever you are trying to do that, one of the relationship uh, line, you can say it's a solid line and another line is a dotted line. Now, what is the reason for that? In Power BI, when you are establishing relationship with one table, with the multiple column of another table, that thing happened. Now, at a one time, only one relationship can be active and remaining relationship can be deactive. So whatever the active relationship uh, is there, you can say it's in a solid line. What is the inactive relationship is there that is uh, displayed in a dotted line. Now, what is the reason for that? Because see, uh, when a customer place an order that can be a different order date, or you can say that can be a different date. But when the product is shipped, that can be a different uh, order date or that can be a different date. Okay, so let's say if we do not use a relationship, use relationship function, what problem we may face. Now let's say here, let me remove this uh, chart. Okay, now let's take a table chart. Now here in a table chart, I'm displaying the date information and this way I am displaying the date information. Now let me just uh, increase the value or increase the font size so we can see it properly. Okay. Now here on this table, I want to display how many orders are placed on particular order date. Okay. So here. Uh, let me just uh, find the order ID mm, here. This is order ID and let's say here I'm displaying count of order ID. So we can say that that many orders are placed on that order date. But I want to also check it out how many orders are shipped on that date. So let me just uh, include the order ID again. And here, let me just count it order ID. But here, you know, the count is same. And how can I relate order ID with some time order date and some time a ship date? There is no way to do that. So how? How to do that? So, so to do this in Power BI, you need to use a use relationship function. 
so how can we do that so let me just remove this and create a new measure now that measure basically will contain the count of that particular thing based on some date okay now let's right click on this date table and click on new measure total ordered or you can say total ordered and in bracket we are writing it placed order placed equal to then what we write whenever we are using a use relationship function we need to use a calculate function so calculate function in power bi basically will helpful when we try to do a calculation but not using only one dex function but multiple dex function so let me first write count and i want to count order id based on which relationship based on the relationship let me show you i want to count the order id here it's uh, right now it is showing an error but no problem i will make it correct so first of all using a uh, using a order date we want to count how many orders are placed okay so if we if double click on that and you can check it out here the relationship is with uh, which column here the relationship is with the order date column right okay if you just click on and you will get to get an idea here that this order table order and order date and order date column so here this solid line is with the order date column okay so here uh, let me just click on that and again we will write use relationship and then we are writing a name of the relationship between the date and the uh, order table so date this is order date and it is related with the order table of order date okay and then we are counting the order okay so here a measure is created which will calculate the total number of order based on order date okay and just drag it so here you will get an idea that on this date this many order placed now i also want to figure it out how many orders are shipped on that date so again i need to calculate a new measure and this time i am going to use the relationship with the shipped date okay so total order ordered and here we can write it is shipped equal to then we need to write again calculate then we are writing a count and what we want to count we want to count the customer id or no not customer id but we are counting order id and then this time we are using a relationship between the date and shipped date okay so ship date okay then complete the bracket and here let me just drag it here so you can check it out here uh, here you are seeing blank because you know maybe some order date or date information is not uh, mentioned in the data set i did not clean it so that's why you can see some blank value and like that but here you can see that on january 8 2012 nine orders are placed and 18 orders are shipped okay so when you are doing online shopping and how the customer can uh, or how we can say that a person who is managing order can get that idea that how many orders are shipped and how many orders are placed so this way you can get an idea like this so here using the use relationship function we can make this relationship active but how many times or how much time it can active it will be active until and unless this calculation happen and then it will be automatically inactive okay one time uh, if solid line is there that means it's active and if it is dotted line that means it's a inactive relationship so whether you can make this as active or whether you can make this as active but using use relationship function you can make this relationship active at the time of calculating this order id so i hope you get an idea that what is the meaning of use relationship function in power bi thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world 
If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out us. Stay curious and keep learning.